Hey, thanks for spending the time with me at the hospital. I mean, I had to beat an old lady with a stick to get these cranberries. But it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm only joking, but... Now, because of my leg, is all broken and stuff. I'm fortunately going to be stuck at your place for the next few days. Yeah, I know. It's so terrible. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> hey, easy baby. I just... Are you even listening to me? <laughs> Well, yeah, I can't tell. Maybe it's the way your hands are moving all over me, or the kissing, or the fact that you're all over me. Yeah, well, I was just trying to say that you have to be careful when you uh, sit on my lap like that. Yeah, my leg is still just in so much pain. And the last thing I want to do is get lost in the moment and then end up hurting myself even more. No, no, it's not you. I'm just saying I just want to be careful as all. Well. And yeah, what's up with you, by the way? You've been acting like a... For, I don't know, for lack of a better way of explaining it, a feral cat? <laughs> These last few days... Oh, really now? Are you enjoying yourself? This is exactly why I think you're not listening. <laughs> because I can't tell if you're trying to massage my neck or choke me. <laughs> uh, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. <sighs> I'm going to need you to turn that down like ten notches. We're not all as freaky as you. <laughs> I, okay. So yeah, what's been up with you? Huh. Baby fever. I see. Let me feel your head. I've watched multiple seasons of Grey's Anatomy, so I'm clearly a doctor. <laughs> Shut up and just let me feel your head. I don't think you have a fever. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm just joking around, but... I don't know. Maybe we could get a parrot? Or like a baby elephant instead? You know? Other than like a human baby? How does that sound? Yeah? Yeah? No. Okay. <laughs> Your face is saying no. For sure. I don't know. So maybe... Oh. Oh, hello. Wow. That's different. What's with the... <laughs> what's with the, uh, um, neck kisses, baby? All right, all right, hey, listen. And I mean really listen. I think in this case, I can relate to where you're coming from. No, no, I really do. I think children are beautiful and they're funny and sticky and they smell weird and I cry a lot. And half the time they never behave and, and um, where was I going with this? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> uh... Kids are great, but I'm not sure if I'm ready. No, really, I really don't think I'm ready for that. I mean, I just made my first doctor's appointment all on my own. And now you want me to be in charge of another human life? Are you sure about that? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. 
So don't confuse it. I love you very much. And if there is anybody that I would love to start a family with, it'd be you. I'm just saying let's explore all our options. That's all. Okay, all right. Let's talk about it then. Yeah, come here. Come here, come get all snuggled with me. And let's have this discussion then. Oh, relax, babe. I know I have a little bit of a cold. But you'll be fine. That has not stopped you from trying to eat me alive all day today. <laughs> so yeah, you'll be fine. It's just a little cold. Options, right. Um, well, there are a lot of options. Well, um, adoption could be one of them. Well, I mean, yeah, it could be. I don't know. I feel like that's not an option that a lot of people consider when they think about starting families. Which is fair. I mean, a lot of people would typically consider if they have the ability to, to make their own children. And, oh my God, that's such a weird sentence. <laughs> well, yeah, I know that's what you're doing, but just to say it out loud, yeah, we're just going to make some people. I don't even know how to wrap a burrito, but I know how to make a person. Think about that for a second. You, you don't think that's weird? You don't know how to wrap a burrito, but you can make a person. Okay, babe. <laughs> I guess I'm the weird one. <laughs> but seriously. Considering that I myself was adopted, I feel a little sentimental towards other children in foster care, you know? I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I just know what it's like to feel forgotten by society. Oh. You are adorable. And I agree with you. Like I said, I'm not solid on anything. I just... You okay? Oh, I don't know. You just flick my neck randomly. <laughs> like a weirdo. Maybe you are a feral cat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just saying. All the options are on the table. At least for me. Mm, I know, baby. I know. <laughs> Come here. Get wrapped up in these blankets with me because you look exhausted. Yeah, you look like you haven't slept in days. Oh, stop it. You're not old. Yeah, yeah, stop with that. You're perfect. Exactly as you are. No one is too old for a nap. If I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't mind one myself either. <laughs> yes, I want to take one too. I think it'd be good considering the fact that, you know, my leg is broken and huh, I probably should be resting anyway. I love you too. So, let's discuss this after we get up and maybe get some food. Have a little bit of wine. Kind of just take it easy. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay. 